I'm Amy from Doodle Dog Designs. I thrifted this little plastic lantern for a dollar at a garage sale this summer. And I'm going to paint it and grunge it up and turn it into a faux primitive tin lantern. Before I paint it, I want to take it apart and clean it real good. And then I will just paint the different parts. And that way I don't have to worry about getting the glass, paint on the glass or anything. So it comes apart, it looks like, with these screws on the bottom. So I've got a small screwdriver. set these glass pieces aside while I paint. I'm going to also wipe this down with some rubbing alcohol to make sure that all of the oils and everything is off of it so the paint will stick well. And then I'm going to use this black matte spray paint. And this is a plastic and this works on plastics. Important to make sure that you match your paint to your material. I did use some frog tape to cover up the electrical parts of the lantern. When I'm spray painting, I like to do several light coats, letting it dry in between. While my spray paint is drying, I'm going to work on grunging the candle. I've got some light mocha colored paint, craft paint, and I'm going to mix that with some instant coffee granules. I don't use this instant coffee for drinking. I only use it for crafts, so it's gotten a little hardened and I have chunks of instant coffee. And then I'm going to paint this candle base with this mixture. I did clean the candle, the plastic off with some rubbing alcohol to get it clean. So I want to paint inside here, but I want to keep it off of the light bulb. While the paint is still dry, I'm going to sprinkle on some more of the instant coffee. The more instant coffee you get, the darker it will look. And I've also got some cinnamon. I'm going to sprinkle on. Then I'm going to let this completely dry before I move on to the next step. The paint is dry on the candle now, and I'm going to use some matte Mod Podge, and I'm just going to paint it, paint the Mod Podge over the outside of the candle.
going to set this aside and let it dry. Everything is dry now, so I'm going to put it back together. I have the candle here, and that just pops on, and I did have to replace the battery. And then I will put this back on. I'm going to leave the glass off. I like the way it looks without the glass, and I think it gives it an older appearance to not have the glass. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.